What is up guys, this is Max Square, and I hope you're all enjoying the new website. If you have not seen it yet, I'll put a link in the description to the video and of course the website. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Airmail 2. Now I actually did a review on Airmail 1 about a year ago, and the developers have been very kind once again to give me a free copy of this app. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, you can see that Airmail has been completely redesigned for Yosemite. It's got this beautiful blur sidebar that is found in every app native to Yosemite, and it's a very clean design. You can see all your mailboxes are neatly organized into these colors, and you can also select your individual mailboxes by just clicking on any icon on the left here in the sidebar. So if you right click on an image here, you have tons of options. You can mark it as spam, important, starred, but you can also move it to a to-do mailbox, memo, or done. So if you have maybe an assignment from a teacher or an email from a client, you can archive that into a special mailbox, which you can see down here, to do, done, and memo. Again, if you have an assignment from a teacher, you can say that you've done that and then move it to the done mailbox and it will appear right here. So if I just select this and say done and I go to my done mailbox, that message will appear there. When you're composing a new message, it's a very clean interface. And one of my favorite features that um, Airmail has always had is the way it manages attachments. If I just grab a file here and drag it in, you will see that that file has been added to the bottom and not covering the entire window like the native ma mail app will. Um, especially with PDFs, the native mail app will blow up the PDF to the full size of the window and then you usually have to right click and save you as icon, but Airmail takes care of that all for you. You can also write your message in Markdown or even HTML. I'm not sure how you would write it in HTML or really why, but um, you can use HTML to write custom signatures, which we'll get into in just a moment. Additionally, Airmail has incorporated a lot of apps, specifically Dropbox and Google Drive. So if I click on the Dropbox icon and I select a file here and I say attach file, you'll see that it actually uploads it to Dropbox. And if I click on the Dropbox here, you can see that that file has just been added. Additionally, it'll create a short link for you, and usually you would have to upload the file to Dropbox, right click, say copy link, or even go to the Dropbox website, log in and get the link, and then come back to the mail app and paste it in. But this again is handled by Airmail automatically. If you open up the preferences, there are a ton of options as usual with Airmail. One of my biggest things about apps is how much can you customize, which you all know. So if you click on any account and you just open up the preferences, you can see that you can have a custom icon for that mailbox and you can also select a custom color. And if you do so, you can click on this little icon color square and then use your native uh, color picker to select any color you would like. And if you head over to the signature tab, you can see that you can customize your signature however you would like. You can use whatever font you want, whatever font size, colors, but you can also write a custom signature with HTML. This has been very helpful for Max Square because I have the logo and all the fonts and colors that go along with the brand attached to my signature. If you go over to the apps tab, you can see just how many apps Airmail has incorporated, including Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, Dropler, Cloud App, Evernote, FTP, and an open directory. So I have Google Drive and Dropbox enabled, but you can have all of these enabled at once and they will appear in your toolbar when you're creating a message. There are of course a ton of options when you're composing from which accounts. You can also specify what notifications you receive and what sound is played when you receive a new message. And just general things like the links opening in the background, but those are pretty general to any mail app, so I won't be getting into those. And now it is time to rate the app. So for concept, I gave Airmail a five out of five, capability, five out of five, compliance, five out of five, customization, five out of five, so for cost, I gave Airmail a three out of five because at $10, that's just a little too steep. This leaves Airmail at a 23 out of 25 and an awesome rating. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And again, be sure to check out the website at macsq.com. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.